All right. So our last part, section 5.2, involves this rarely used uh, formula called Heron's formula, which finds the area of a triangle when only given the three sides. But it involves this extra calculation called the semi-perimeter, because you take the perimeter and divide it by two. So we're just going to practice using this formula a couple times. It's more of a just like, yay, it happens to work. All right. Find the area. So step number one is find the semi-perimeter. 10 plus 15 plus 7 all divided by 2. That is 32 divided by 2, which is 16. All right. Now, the formula involves a square root, the semi-perimeter, and then the semi-perimeter minus each of the sides. Okay. So the area is big ugly square root S, S minus A, S minus B. S minus C. And looking at that, your brain might be like, oh, we could multiply those. Like, yeah, technically we could foil them. Please don't. We only use this formula to find the area. We don't use this formula if we know the area and the sides to try to find the semi for like, did, no. Just plug the numbers in the spots. It's a big square root. 16. 16 minus A is 10, times 16 minus B is 15, times 16 minus C is 7. And that, like as is there, we could type that in. I will say for some calculators, if you just type square root of 16 times, it may move the multiplication outside the square root. So if your calculator doesn't start a parenthesis inside the square root, um, then I would suggest putting them there just to be extra sure that it does calculate correctly. Okay, so my big square root, it looks like a check mark and then it opens a parenthesis for me. So I have 16. Then I open another set of parentheses to type 16 minus 10. Oh, I hate my calculator. Okay. Mine does not like the nested calculator. Like. I have to put times in between them. So there's my 16 minus 10, close, times, open, 16 minus 15, close, times, open, 16 minus 7, and so this was with the square root, so our area is point. Uh, 39387, so 3939 square units. Because I don't think they actually gave us units here, because why would they do that? It's a math problem. So we found the semi perimeter, got our formula, put the numbers in the spots, bam. So with the big side of 15, the area comes out to be a little less than 30. Now we do it again, except their measurements in feet. I know some of those looked like minus signs when it was zoomed out, but they're not. So now our S is going to be a little bit uglier. So now it's 29.7 plus 42.3. Plus 38.4 all divided by 2. 
little known fact about fraction bars for order of operations is whenever you have a fraction that has operations inside it, the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction are assumed to have parentheses around them. We don't often write them, but they are there or understood to be there. So depending on how dumb or smart your calculator is, if you can put a fraction and it shows you like a top and a bottom, you can just type all that on top, it'll be fine. Uh, but if you have a not as good calculator, then I would recommend putting parentheses around it or doing it in two steps. The 29.7 plus 42.3 plus 38.4. So the full perimeter is 110.4. And then we divide that by two and we get 55.2. technically feet. All right, so now we're going to use our crazy harems formula. Big crazy square root and then S 55.2 times 55.2 minus 29.7 close times 55.2 minus 42.3 takes longer to type it than it does takes longer to write it than it does to type it in the calculator times 55.2 minus 38.4 and you could do everything under the square root and then just square root that result if that's easier with your calculator like that's totally fine I just have a leftover habit of liking it to be one calculation. So 55.2, the square root in front, times, open parentheses, 55.2 minus 29.7, close, times, open, 55.2 minus 42.3, Close times open. 55.2 minus 38.4. Close. Close. And there it is. So our area here is 552.31 feet squared. Now if you actually look at the unit analysis here, like our s, we added feet and divided by 2, so it is still feet. Then I have feet, let me use a little highlighter, that's feet, this difference is feet, this one is feet, and this one is feet. So that is feet multiplied four times, so that is feet to the fourth, or feet squared squared, and then we square root it, so we do end up with square feet. So the units also, like the formula does work with the units correctly. All right. So yay, there's another esoteric formula for you to use.